I was able to establish myself as one of the best tight ends in college football. Touchdown, Oregon, Farrell Brown. So this year is really one of my breakout years, and when I finally got a grasp, like, I'm pretty good. He's hard to miss at 6'6", 250. It was becoming a reality for me to go play pro. I kind of always had high confidence and always believed in myself. I think what made Farrell so special was his mindset. Touchdown, Farrell Brown. Well, that was easy. You know, he, he the type of guy that just get him the ball anywhere and, and he gonna try to make a play. Wide open. He became a guy that, that we counted on, you know, in terms of schematically designing things that he could affect the game either, either with or without the ball. Like uh, the Washington game. It's Brown. Up and pulls it down. I was even surprised, you know, he made like three, four dudes miss and, and then carried the dude for like 10 yards. 67 yards of brilliance. To go play pro, that's all our dream. That's how I was during the season, kind of just thinking about, I got to keep balling because I can change my feelings. Like. Rice Eccles Stadium sold out tonight in Salt Lake. Their youth set to take on the Ducks of Oregon. So it was like a normal, regular night. Went through my normal pregame rituals routine, and on the field, Coach Frost was like, it's time to take another step. You good, but now it's time to be great. The corner shot. Farrell Brown, the tight end for the touchdown. He's going to be a great player. Physical, fast, just goes about his business. It was like the perfect setup. I mean, we couldn't pay Utah to line up in a better thing that they had. It was one on one. I had like a drag route, and so I'm coming across. Mariota might call his own number here, heading to the pylon. And so I'm like, oh, it's a touchdown. He shot in, so I tried to get out quickly. And when I got out, I kind of felt my knee buckle. And then I just hear Frail. And I look down and I see him. We're really not sure. We can't see a number on who that is. And my heart just dropped. We believe it to be Farrell Brown. Still can't see the number officially. Right away, you knew it was a significant deal. It was kind of a blur after that. I kind of just blacked out. Farrell Brown remains hospitalized in Salt Lake City after suffering leg injury, had surgery. Mark Helfrich, though, did confirm his season is over. I was in the bed for about two months, not even being able to move, so I was just on bed rest. It's just a whole different feeling and a whole different emotion just having to watch from a distance, and your mind can't really process all that stuff in that little bit of time period. You don't really expect that, and you really don't know how, how many people see you when you're playing until like something happens. I got so much fan mail, I probably got over a thousand at least, and I read every single one of them. It was just unbelievable. From the start, I was just motivated, just trying to get better. The amount of pain that he was in was challenging mentally to him. He didn't let that be an obstacle or an excuse. Be nice and tall. I don't try to think about how tough it is and just get through it. I wouldn't have predicted that we would be this far along, and I'm pleased and happy, and I know he is too. So I'm like three months out from my surgery, just surprised myself, like, man, like, it's three months, and I'm like ahead. It's gonna be a progression of strength. It's not gonna be like one day, it's just gonna be perfect. Mm -hmm another big part of Pharaoh's life besides his family and the support he gets is his therapy dog Tiger. Tiger is Pharaoh's dog that he got as kind of a support person in his life. He come to rehab every day. He like just running with me playing defense and stuff like he just keep everybody's spirits up and be happy you know what I mean. Most of us have days where we make excuses or we take a shortcut or cross some things off our list that we're not going to accomplish that day, and he's never willing to do that. Farrow has, has, to this point, done really well, and we would certainly expect nothing less. Man, when 
when Pharrell get back, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. I know all the stuff that he had to go through. So once he get back, it's gonna be really exciting to see him out there in in that 85. When that day comes, that it's all able to pay out. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of emotion for me personally and for all the people that's just been with me, supporting me through it. So I wait to see that day.